Alright everyone, welcome back to Cabbage Creations, and today I will be showing you a little bit of the progress done on the Wally that I have been building. Alright, so first of all, I don't know if you guys know what Wally is, I'm pretty sure you guys will, but he's just a really awesome robot that I'm a big fan of, so I'm deciding to build a 3D one that is actually electronic. So right there, I've cut a little hole, that's where his uh, warning uh, lead indicator is. Uh, so I'll be putting a red light there. Uh, as you can see, I've got the head done. And it actually does have a motor hooked up under there. Right under that there, there's a motor. Um, the back of it, that's what the back of it looks like. I've been copying it off of this Wally -E, um, action figure. Uh, so it got to the arms and stuff. I have not completely finished coloring it, and I have not put the treads on yet or the motors. Uh, the motors that I have put on, there's the head motor. Then inside of here is a gearbox that I wired up. This here is the uh, cords that come from the head. They just come all the way through here and go from the head and into the hole. And then there you go. And the gearbox, as you can see, is hooked up from there and there. And they hook up to the arms. And I'll be showing you how that works and the head works. Alright, so I got my 9 volt battery to test them out. The uh, head and the hands, the arms, I mean, both take 9 volt batteries to power up. So good thing I got three of them. Uh, so here we go. I'll hook up the cords to this. Now, this is not how you'll be controlling it. Uh, I will hook up some circuit boards to it and make it remote controlled. That's obviously down. Then that's up. And there you have it. That is the um, hands. Now, when the battery is more fully charged, I literally just took this out of the charger. It's not even halfway. So when it's fully charged, it'll go up really fast and go up to where to be able to reach up to his head. All right. So now the head. I need to make this cord longer though, but it's barely sticking out of the side here. You probably won't be able to see the cord. Well, actually, it's right there. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll hook it up and the head will move. So, moves that way. And it can move that way. Like I said, I will be hooking a cord up to all this stuff to, um, and circuit board and stuff to make it actually work better. So yeah, there you have it. Um, I also will be buying a Bluetooth speaker from the Walmart. They sell ones for only a few bucks. I will be taking the speakers out of them and hooking up bigger speakers and putting that Bluetooth connection inside of Wally. -E. And what that will do um, is because I can hook up my phone to it. I watched the movie. It made me wanted me to build this thing. So I uh, got my phone, recorded some of the Wally sounds that Wally would make, hooked it up to my mom's Bluetooth speaker, put it inside of Wally. It works really good, but I want to I want to buy my own. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Thank you for watching. All right, so now I'll be showing you some of the detail of Wally. Right here, this whole thing used to be just paper. Now I've actually kind of cut out some holes there. It's 3D. So this whole wall I've been trying to make completely 3D. Uh, the hands, however, they actually are a little bit 3D. Let me lift it up for you. Um, so yeah, the hands are 3D. They got the thumbs and stuff. Very cool in that part. There's the thumb on each finger. They they're all there are three D on both sides. They're not just like completely cardboard. Um, the back of it is probably the most three D part I did. That there's the back of it like on the real action figure. As you can see there it has all those parts there. Same things on this. Uh, on the sides of it it has these three D everywhere. Same thing on the other side. And as you can see there, it has those little lines right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Right there. So yeah, there's a lot of detail I still need to do on this thing. Like, for example, color, lots of stuff. 
The head has a bunch of detail too. Take a look at the back of this head. Now compare it to that. It literally, I tried to make it look the exact same. Um, now the neck, I did my best on that. I wouldn't say I did too very, very well on that. The neck on that, and then the neck on that. I'd say it's pretty much the same, but it could probably be better. Um, the front of the head, I tried to make pretty detailed. So as you can see, it's pretty detailed. I tried to make everything that, the exact same and put it in the right place, but it was very hard to do with a small lolly. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much on the head. I tried to make everything pretty strong and durable. Uh, I mean, the box and stuff, very strong. So this thing could drop and it would be strong. So the next thing I'm going to do on this is hook up the motors for the actual tread. Now for the tread, I will not just be putting fake tread on it that doesn't even move. I'm going to be putting, I'm going to ma be making tread out of some cardboard and paper and then hooking it up with some rubber bands under it and the motors will get traction of that. So it will actually move. I made a bunch of wallies before where either it had tires in here like the action figure. Most of my other wallies literally had tires just right there, uh, and this was just fake. What I did was I took a snap circuit rover, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, and what that would do is drive it because I had a bunch of traction. So yeah, that's what I would do with that. Uh, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to show you this sound that wallie can make. And there you have it. 